everybody, Mr. On Demand Man with the Master Plan. And uh, those of you who have known me a long time, uh, you know that I'm a big fan of Cody. And I can't do a lot of Cody videos because on YouTube because obviously there's a lot of piracy that goes along with Cody. But this video has nothing to do with piracy. This has to do with a skin for Cody that allows you to make your, your own Cody build in pretty much any whatever way you want. I'm going to install it and show you how to install it it's a little bit difficult but not that bad so first of all you need to download the zip file and i'm going to put a link in the description below where you can go to github to get the zip directly from the re proper repository so let's go ahead and go to there so this is github here uh, and this is the repository uh, for vanilla 21 this is uh, the other thing about this skin is it is for the newest version of cody so you can load it on your brand new version of cody and then customize your cody to suit you whatever way you want so what you want to do is uh, you go to this link that I put in the description and you're going to have a little down, download the raw file. When you click that, you're going to download it. Now, wherever you download it, it'll, you know, if it's in Windows, it'll be in your downloads folder. If you've changed that directory to something else, it'll be there. Wherever it downloaded is where it's going to download. Then what you're going to want to do is you can copy that to a flash drive if you want to install it on your uh, box, uh, whatever you want to do as far as Cody goes. But here's the kicker. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm in Windows right now. So I'm just going to open Kodi up and I just downloaded it and I'm going to install it from my downloads folder. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to go to add-ons and we're going to install from zip. Now we're going to go ahead and find the uh, downloads folder for me. So I'm going to go to C and I'm going to go to my users and i'm going to go to mr on demand and we're going to go to downloads and we're going to find the download that uh that i just downloaded a few seconds ago let's go ahead and find that probably down here toward there it is repository.vanilla21 right here so we're going to go ahead and install that titan vanilla repository and now that's going to install. After that's installed, we'll then be able to install from repository because we just installed the repository. Now we need to install from repository and we can go to the Titan Vanilla repository. And now we can go down to uh, look and feel because this is a skin. And we're going to go to skin and we're going to install the Titan Vanilla skin. Now, if you notice, some of these pictures here are showing you that, you know, kind of how it can look. This is an in unbelievable skin. It is a little complicated, but that's because it does so many things. As I've said before, it's kind of crazy because things that people don't like that are a little more complicated sometimes are the best things out there. It's just because they do more. People want easy and simple and they don't want to deal with learning how to do things. But in my videos, I'm going to teach you how to actually do those things so that you can do them and have great results and enjoy uh, something like a beautiful Cody skin for your own personal Cody build. With whatever add-ons you decide to install in your Cody build, that's entirely up to you. I have no judgment whatsoever when it comes to that. All I'm trying to do is show you how to put together something that's actually pretty wonderful. This particular skin has so many features and does so many things. It's absolutely unbelievable. And uh, I did another Cody bill, uh, Cody video. Uh, there'll be a link up above uh, for you to take a look at that video. That basically is WTF is Cody. And it goes through the basics of repos and installing add-ons. It gives you kind of a starting point for Cody to get you going. Would you like to switch to this skin now? We're going to go ahead and hit yes. Would you like to keep the skin? Yes. So now, right off the bat, you're going to see the base, uh, the basic look of the skin. This is only touching the like very beginning of the skin. It, it can look completely different than this, guys. It can look like estuary. It can look like confluence. It can look like just about anything you want. Let's go ahead and go to settings. Let's see, settings, and then we got settings down below because we have to go. There we go. Now, in here, we have skin settings. And if we go to skin settings, 
Uh, we're just going to hit no on weather art. I'm not really worried about that right now. But you're going to notice a lot of options in here. Now let's just go over these a little bit. Now first of all is Titan 2 rows. Titan horizontal. Titan vertical. Titan Netflix style. Netflix style home. Uh, Windows 10 style. You've got a lot of options here for different styles that you can pick from. So if you want it to look like Confluence, you can very easily. So I just selected Confluence. And now you're going to notice, look at this. Now it looks like a pretty generic confluence. And you can you can obviously spruce this up and do a whole bunch of things. But one of the things I wanted to point out is one of the one of the things that is really lacking in confluence and a lot of other skins is the amount of submenus and the amount of menus you can you can put in. Let's go back to settings and let's go to skin settings. Now we we changed the layout, but Let's just say you want to change, you want to go in and uh, configure shortcuts, right? E edit menu shortcuts. Now here's all of the um, different sections that are in here. If we want to add one, we can add one. We can add tons and tons of them. The limit, I've never gotten to the limit, but if we want to customize submenus we can also customize the submenu of every section and you can add tons of submenus you can also set the thumbnail the label you can do all kinds of change action you can do all you can do all sorts of things for the submenus as well as the main menus by changing their icon changing all of that now the submenus and the menus and the sheer amount that you can put in there is one of the big, big deals to me. I don't use the Confluent style home screen, although I know it's one of the more popular because it's the old school Cody look. But you can also change it to a vertical home screen layout where you have a whole bunch of thumbnails. Uh, you can set it to a Netflix style home menu layout uh netflix style home menu layout too now you can try all these out a windows 10 style i mean the options are absolutely tremendous there's the uh titan tiles so if you go to vertical home screen you can also change this to a simple confluence style simple confluence style uh home screen vertical uh with tiles modern big home screen layout so if you want it to be big so if you want to create a build that's like really tailored to a really nice tv experience you can do that with this with this skin um and that's just the options right here in the uh home screen lay layout now i want you to notice that when you go down here you've got a forced views option so you can set up uh, the forced view option how you want the views to come up in every add-on for movies, TV shows, seasons, etc., etc. So you can set up forced views to make sure that your build has the same flow through the entire Cody build. The other option you can do is playback and on-screen display buttons. Uh, we got video playback, etc. There's options down here for on-screen di display info panel. I mean, you've got all kinds. This really is all personal preference. You should de go through this and experiment and see what you like or dislike, how you would like to make your build. Um, general skin settings. So mouse and touch support. That would depend on if you're running a touch screen or not. Uh, if you want that or on a PC. Um, playlist at startup, kiosk mode, all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, and also you can set up your own custom, uh, you can uh, you logo. If you make a logo and you want a custom logo to start up instead of it showing Cody, you can change, you can do that in here as well. Uh, you can change the busy animation. Uh, you can settings for headers, use compact windows 10 style header. If you want custom image instead of Cody logo right here. So instead of the Cody logo, you can change and use your own custom limit image. Um, show logo for current random background home screen, uh, select weather icons, uh, all of that stuff. Uh, 
you know, you, you can really customize things, color themes. So you can set up a color theme, custom color settings. You can change the colors for all of these different things. So you can really get in and change the color theme of the build and make the colors exactly the way you want them to be uh, right in the skin without having to do a lot of crazy edits to the build. Um, you can uh, smart shortcuts, enable smart shortcuts for playlists. That's, you know, up to you what you want to do there and a backup and restore. So once you've got all the settings perfect the way you want for your skin, you can also back it up. So you can back the, you can actually do a skin backup as well for yourself. Um, so supported add-ons are listed in here, uh, you know, and there's a lot of options on this, on this, uh, on this skin. This skin is a terrific skin. And I think, uh, all of you will, could have a lot of fun playing with it. I don't know of any other skin that lets you easily change it from confluence style to estuary style to a windows 10 style to a Netflix style to have, <clears throat> To have the big uh, thumbnails, uh, if you want, uh, just really, really lots of options. I've played around with almost every one of those options in this skin, and I'll tell you, it's it's a lot. It was a lot of fun figuring out what I liked best and tailoring the build to myself. And that's the great thing about Cody. That's why I still say it's the goat. And for a media center uh, software for you to control all your media and uh, have fun with your 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 own personal content. Um, you guys have a great day. Uh, if you liked this video, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, let me know down below how I could have made it better. And uh, you know, everybody, I'm not making any money on YouTube. So if you could, you know, please leave a thumbs up and a comment uh, that would greatly help my videos out. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have a wonderful day.